Hey girlfriends, thank you for tuning into Tish BTV and Happy New Year. So in this video, I want to chat about designing our goals for the year. During this time of year, everyone is either setting New Year's resolutions or kickstarting their goal setting process. And I have something very special that I created last year that I definitely want to share with you. So to get started with my goal designing process, I light a candle. I have a nice cup of beverage right by me because I plan to spend as much time as possible focusing in on how I want my year to go and the things that I need to do to make them happen. In the years past, I would write down my goals for the year or the month or quarter on um, a sheet of paper or a journal and just didn't really focus in on why I created a certain goal and get very specific on when it needed to be completed and all of that. And I would find that some of my goals never were accomplished. So I thought about this about two years ago about creating something that had prompts that required me to sit down and to really think about what needed to get done. So when I do this, I'll use a notebook or I'm a pad like you see here, just to jot down some other things or some ideas that come up while the prompts are evoking some emotion and some thoughts and I'm getting creative. I have a pen with me. Sometimes I'll use a highlighter because this is all I'm going to focus on during my goal designing session. And then I'll have some stickers here because inside of this workbook, there are some notes pages and even on some of the prompt pages, I'll use a sticker or something just to decorate the page and make me feel a little bit more enlightened at that particular moment. Now, you don't have to use stickers. This is just a personal preference, but um, I really like to use them or have them on standby just in case I want to add them to a page just to personalize it. Another thing that I use is a monthly calendar and I suggest that you get one so you can go ahead and block in some days and just be able to see ahead so you can know what dates you need to accomplish certain things or if you have big ideas that you want to um, do this year, go ahead and pencil them in. That way what is written can become real and you will know what needs to get done to make it happen. So if you don't mind, I want to take you on a small tour of what is inside the personal goal designer that I created for myself and for you. Now these sheets are an eight and a half by 11. So they're a US letter size and you can either staple them at the top. You can add a paper clip like I had previously on here or you can punch holes along the sides and add them to a binder or a folder of your choice just so you can be able to take this around with you all of the time. The first page is one of my favorite that I created and before I made this all cute and in a format like this, I would just write these questions down in a notebook. So some of these questions are to have you reflect on some things that you want to accomplish, some skills or um, personal relationships that you want to improve and nurture. And then there's a note section that I mentioned was in here. And this is where you can use those stickers if you choose. But um, this is just to get you in the process of really thinking about what it is you want to do, what you want to improve in the new year, and what areas you desire to improve. And this just gets you to thinking. And that's the most important thing about these worksheets. Again, on both of the reflection pages, you flip it over and then there's a note section for you. And here is a page that pretty much just talks about your success. I think that sometimes people box success into what they think others experience success as. But this sheet right here just gets you to think about what success means to you. So this is just a little instruction sheet that I found helpful for me. When I was setting goals a few years back, I would set them, but they would be very vague, like I want to lose weight would be one of them, or I want to get a better job, or I want to work for myself. 
and that's it. I would just leave it as is. I never would add a date to it. I would never be specific about what kind of job I wanted or how many pounds I wanted to lose. And then even if I did write those things down, I never really focused on, okay, now how am I going to make this happen? I would write the goal down and get distracted by other things that come up. And then the year passes by and that goal had never been accomplished. So this is just my steps that I take to Help me and those of you who want to know how to set specific goals so that you can see them and then you can see the steps that it will take. Now, after I get a good grasp of how I need to set these goals and just a simple format of what needs to be included in them, there's a section that I will jot down the goals and I'm going to use present tense only and I am going to also add a date by which I want the goal to be set. This puts things in motion and it lets me see that I don't have all year to lose the 10 pounds or to search for a job. I have a certain date in mind. And then this is something that is talked about so much around this time. And it's just a sheet for a vision board, something small. You can add words, go to Google Images and find pictures, use a magazine, or even go to Pinterest and just print a few pictures and words that will evoke some emotion and get you excited about the goals that you've set that you're going to kick in the rear end for 2018. You can carry this sheet with you or you can just keep it um, with your binder wherever you're gonna keep these pages. Now this is where the planning begins. The sheets that are following will include goals for each month. And these are your big goals or just goals that are very important to you. You list the goal, the date that it should be completed by, and the things that you need to do to make that goal happen. This requires thought. It's easier said than done, but it is so vital in the process. And I suggest keeping your monthly calendar next to you so you can jot down some of the actions on the calendar when you need to get those things done and even your daily planner. These are the two things that I keep near by because I'm going to plug in the dates and the tasks that will be completed. So when I'm planning out my days, I know what's going to occur when. Okay, now after you have set all of your goals, there's an overview that will help you know what you said you would complete in three months, six months, nine months, and 12 months. This just gives you an idea of what your year should look like as far as your goal setting at, at a glance. Now, the next sheet is all about setting some daily healthy routines. And I believe that this is so important to the success of seeing our goals come to fruition is by really thinking about what things you need to get done, what time you need to get up. Are you going to read? Are you going to meditate, exercise? Are you going to make your phone calls? But just setting some routines that you can do on a daily basis will be very helpful and healthy for your goal kicking session. And last but not least is a gratitude list. And I did a video on gratitude that I'll link below or I will insert a card up top for you to view. But it is very important that we express gratitude daily or as often as we can. And you can fill this sheet in at one setting or just add things in throughout the time. When we are setting these goals and we're working hard to make them happen, sometimes we get down because we're not seeing things happen as fast as they should. So having your gratitude list will certainly lighten the days. Girlfriends, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this has helped you kickstart your goal designing session, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment area. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Tish B TV channel, I'd love for you to stay and become an official girlfriend with me. And feel free to share this video across the internet. You can find me at Tish Bullard. And if you're interested in your own personal goal designer workbook, I will leave a link 
link below in the description area for you to grab your copy or a copy for you and your girlfriends when you're getting ready to do your vision board parties or your goal designing parties. Thank you so much for tuning in to Tishby TV. And until next time, design and live the life that you love. Have a great day. Bye.